Hi guys, it's not been the best few days for Marks & Spencer. Firstly, they've angered some customers by completing a nationwide scrap of the plastic cutlery they used to hand out with their takeaway foods, and they've replaced it with... Wooden cutlery. Mmm, eating your lunchtime yoghurt with a wooden spoon. Mm. Secondly, they are getting a massive rap on the knuckles for an apparently sexist window display at a flagship store in Nottingham. Now, the window display shows Marks & Spencer must-have items. And on one side is a man, and his must-have item is a smart suit. And on the other side is a woman, and her must-have item is underwear. So, is it sexist? Well, I'm not entirely sure. A lady called Fran Bailey brought it to the attention of her local feminist group. Now, she labelled the window display vomit-inducing. Really? It makes you want to vomit. And I'm sure if the picture had been one of me wearing that underwear, then yes, a lot of people would want to vomit. I mean, liver makes me want to vomit. What else makes you want to vomit? I'll tell you. Eating yoghurt with a wooden spoon. Miss Bailey went on to say that the display was even more distasteful because it focused on the need to purchase something that is not a necessity. She went on to say that what people should really be focusing on is getting warmth, shelter and food. And I agree, but I don't understand what that has to do with the window display or the rights of women. You see, I'm a Christian and I believe that everyone should have warmth, shelter and food. Not just women, but women, men, children, dogs. Well, maybe not dogs because they're not that important. Well, don't be offended, dogs. But what are people expecting? Marks & Spencer's is a shop. It wants to sell you their products. It wants to attract you in through their window display. How do you make an attractive window display around the theme of warmth, shelter and food? What, do you put a radiator in the window along with a tent and a packet of crisps? Who would care? Taking this a step further, a protester then vandalised the window display by adding her own sign. So the window display then read, women must have full human rights. Now, where is the human rights violation? in this window display. Unless the model in the display was forced, with a packet of the wooden cutlery to her head, to pose with the display, I don't understand where the human rights violation is. The irony is that as this row continues, Matthew Hedges, a researcher for Durham University, has been sentenced to life in prison in Abu Dhabi, via a five-minute trial with no lawyer, for doing nothing but research in the Middle East. Now surely that is a violation of human rights, not this window display. Now, just to close on a point of interest, Mumsnet has just published its worst Christmas present list, and of the 1,700 women they questioned, 94% said one gift they would retain would be underwear given to them by their spouse or partner. So like it or not, there is a market for it, it does sell, and don't forget, if you buy the underwear from Marks & Spencer, you can get free wooden cutlery with it. Post your thoughts below, let me know what you think, and thanks for watching. Actually, has anyone got a metal spoon?